question. Uh, it's um, obvious that he would be concerned about what's going on uh, in this country today. Um, in, uh, if you look at uh, just some of the statistics, it now turns out that uh, the U.S. government spending, federal, state, and local, this is really depressing, is a share of gross domestic product has grown in the last three years from 35%, which arguably is incredibly high, to now 45%. So it's approaching 50% stemming from government spending. Uh, one of uh, Professor Friedman's favorite measures for bureaucratic growth was the number of pages published each year by the Federal Register. Uh, Friedman was delighted that during the eight years of Reagan's presidency that that number went down from 90,000 pages in 80 to 50,000 pages by 1988. Sadly, that has now grown back steadily to 80,000 pages. Uh, perhaps even more alarmed, alarming to uh, both Rose and Milton Friedman would be the fact that the Heritage Foundation's 2010 index of economic freedom, they take a number of parameters in each country, measures, very objective measurement, that show the U.S. experienced the largest decline in that index of freedom when compared to the 20 largest global economies. You'd also be concerned about a recent 2010 Pew survey where people around the world were asked this question, get this, are people better off in a free economy? The U.S. ranks in 2010, uh, just last year, 2009, it ranked six. So it's gone from six to nine. Now, what countries would you say would be the highest in that, in terms of asking the, 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 the people living there, number one, two, and three? The number one, in terms of positive attitudes about uh, the free market, number one is China. Number two is Nigeria. <laughs> number three is India. And also above the U.S., higher than the U.S., in per positive perception of the free market, Brazil, Kenya, and Poland. Uh, while Professor Friedman, I think, would look askance uh, at a relatively low ranking, I doubt that he would be surprised. His remarkable insight into human nature allowed him to see that people live and prosper uh, lived and prospered for long periods of time as a result of free markets. Uh, take that prosperity.